day four. Last day of our this four day our, theme park planning. This is our last Disneyland for our trip. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'll be sad or happy. <laughs> <laughs> We're back with the family. Everyone's here. Oh, shut up, shut up. <laughs> Please follow CXG Diaries. CXG Diaries. <laughs> We're on our way to Light of Passage for our first ride. All of the people are going heading towards that area as well. It's kind of weird because they let in people all early. It was only 8 o'clock and they already were letting people in. Hopefully we're not too late. No, we're not late. We're always early. <laughs> A few moments later. We left out one small detail. We screwed up. <laughs> we didn't check the park hours. We were expecting it to open at 9, like the Epcot hours. Just like yesterday. Yeah, it turns out it's an hour earlier. So we are way back in line. So the park opens at 8 a.m. and we came in at 8.10. And now the wait hours is 90 minutes long for flight. flight of passage. Check your hours, guys. Could be worse, right? Like, could be like two hours or two hours and a half. Yeah, and the line is moving. Yeah, we'll take it. Baby porcupine. Oh, it's so big! Sudden drop. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> One hour and a half ka nakapila. Here we go! Like tigers, jaguars, seals, the banshee is one of these important animals. Dr. Ogden is the foremost expert on studying the Ikran and has spent years researching them. Unfortunately, banshees live high in rookeries and humans can't get anywhere near them without <laughs> becoming their lunch. But the Navi and avatars can. All right. You've all been matched with avatars. <laughs> Restraints activated. So you get placed into these panels and you guys watch just one big gigantic screen. It was amazing. You should try it out. I want to try it again, but I want to line up for like an hour and a half. On to the next ride. We'll be back later. We're on our way to Dinosaur USA. I went up for Mickey Mouse and Mimi. Oh, you did that yesterday. But they're wearing safari outfit here. <laughs> <laughs> Dinoland USA. Hey. Hi. <laughs> I don't have to celebrate, but what are you celebrating? Wedding anniversary. Oh my god. <laughs>
So we didn't make it to Dinosaur because we have a fast pass around 12.05. The wait times are around 55 minutes. So we just decided to skip it for now and do our fast pass. We'll do Expedition Everest first. Maybe one of the best roller coasters here in Disney. Yay! <laughs> I'm hungry. So it's lunch hour. We're gonna grab something to bite. Um, I you. Close to the Kilimanjaro Safari. Because that's our next fast pass. Please make him room for your entire party. You can see any small trouble on our maps. <laughs> Good size adult black rhino like that, like that one will be £3,000 or more. Charging speed of up to 35 miles per hour. Forest very most of it's rare for these at bongos to even be seen by humans. Surprisingly, these crocs do make nurturing parents. They'll roll eggs in their mouths, help crack the shells. Sounds cool, doesn't it? But uh, we don't want to encourage them to have them learn the behavior. They could be injured by the large trucks. Oh, check out the tongue. You see there, the giraffe reaching out? You see that? Closer, this dark brown animal. See the massive horns, the creamy white spots in the hide. One of the Ankoli cattle. Males, typically, they're going to head out on their own around 13 to 15 years old. When they're considered adults, elephants have them. Those will be ostrich eggs, about three pounds a piece. Quite close by now, other times they just wander off. How do you like that? I feel like we came on the perfect time. All of the animals are outside their habitat. Yeah, but apparently they're saying that some of the animals didn't show. Maybe if we can, we're gonna try to ride it again later tonight. Short, right? <laughs> it's short. I wish it could be longer. Yeah, I feel like it's it's too short for such a popular ride. I was expecting something more. I don't think it, we're even there for like maybe three or four minutes. But it, it was nice though. The detail was perfect. It's perfect for a nice hot day. Follow the homing signal to the iguanodon. Then I will launch the transport field, and boom, you're back with one additional passenger, extra large. Mm. And don't worry about that asteroid. You'll be in and out of it before it even breaks the atmosphere. Trust me. 
What can go wrong? How do you like the dinosaur ride? That was intense. It was pitch dark. <laughs> we won't yeah. see anything and then a dinosaur will pop up. Yeah, it's almost you can't see anything. It's, it's mostly animatronics. Not much suspense though. For me. <laughs> At it's least. fun. It's a fun ride. That's it guys. That concludes our trip to a four day theme park in Orlando, Florida. I'm sure I'm tired waking up early in four days visiting each theme park. Like two days Universal, two days Disney. Waking up in the morning, <laughs> sleeping late, going home late. But we sure did enjoy this four day theme park escapade. We're certain that we're gonna be coming back maybe in a few years. Because there's two more theme parks in Disney World that we didn't miss it yet. Yeah, so we'll plan it out. We'll do it on the next time. But for now, don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this video. Or let us know in the comments down below if you want us to do more things like this. See you on our next vlog. Bye! Bye. We are one. This is our last day of Disney Parks and Universal and we're just having a party in this Uber, you know? It's a good way to end our trip here. See you next time.